Hey my loves, it's your girl Mary J. Welcome back to yet another video. If you're new here and this is the first time you are seeing my lovely face, please become part of the family by hitting that subscribe button and sticking around. You would love it here. <laughs> but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these 36 inches, y'all. 36 inches soft locks if you would like to see how i got it please stick around don't forget to like comment and subscribe and enjoy so as you guys can see i have done most of my head and I'm showing you how it's looking so far. Guys, this was simple, but it definitely requires some patience. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I, um, the process. Basically, I am parting my hair and doing um, some single braids. Um, the parts, I decided not to do very straight lines because I wanted it to be like that, um, you know that dread looking natural as possible and natural dreads don't have straight parts so i wanted my parts to be you know crooked you know not perfect to uh, you know kind of resemble really natural looking dreads so um as you can see here i am just braiding my hair and i don't really braid it all the way down to the ends because this is going to be wrapped um so you know it doesn't have to be perfect um i would list all of the products that i used in this video down below so please check the description bar for all of the products that i use and again i'm showing you guys how i'm just doing the single braids So here I am going to be showing you guys how I connect my locks to get these 36 inches. I use both 18 inches. Um, I use two um, 18 inch locks and I connected them together to get the 36 inches because sadly they do not come this long. Please excuse how ashy my hands are. Like I, I, I wasn't trying <laughs> at all in this video. Um, but I am going to be using a crochet needle and what I'm doing is I'm going to stick the crochet ne needle in the opening of one of the locks um, as you see right here and then with the other lock I am going to just unravel the end. And I'm going to stick one side into the crochet pin and pull it through so and then tie a knot I double knotted it so therefore it stays and I'm not worried about anything so that was me I tied a knot and then I spread my got to be on it so therefore it holds and then I um, try to wrap it on my hands to make sure it blends in seamlessly um, I'm going to be showing you that process again so if you didn't catch that um, please stick around I will show you again so I'm showing you right now I am tying it double knotted uh, don't do that 
but um, I'm going to do the whole thing again. I'm double knotting it and and I'm going to wrap the excess um, hairs and spray my got to be on it to make sure it holds. And that's it, guys. That's how I lock um, the um, the locks together to get my 36 inches. So here I am going to be showing you guys how I attach the locks onto my head. Um, it's going to be sped up, but stay tuned because I'm somewhere down the line. I did slow it down and I did explain what I'm doing. So keep on watching guys. By the way, this would be a good time to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> okay, just throwing that in there. So here again I am showing you guys how I attach the locks to get the 36 inches. I think I've showed you guys this is the third time now but I just want to make sure that you guys you know get this part because ultimately this is the most important part right to the 36 inches locks. So I just want to make sure that I you know get that in there as many times as possible to you know. Make sure that you guys get it. Okay, so to attach the locks to my head and my natural hair, I am going to be using the crochet needle. I'm going to push it through my natural braid and into the loop of the locks. And I'm going to attach my natural hair, pull it through, and then tie it. Um, and then I am going to be using um, the crochet hair. Um, and I'm going to also crochet that in to the braid 
and I'm going to make sure that I pull one side through so therefore both sides are even just like that and in order to tighten the um, the rule all you do is pull your natural hair and the locks together and it should be tight and now what I'm doing is I am wrapping the um, the crochet hair around um, the locks and my natural hair um, the wrapping I you know wanted it to look very distressed so um, it does not have to be perfect um, but yeah I just wrap all the way down and that's it Again, I am showing you the process with my last braid. Thank you, God. This hair took me about six to seven hours to do. Ultimately, if the locks were already long, it probably wouldn't have taken me this long. But, you know, joining the locks together really took up most of the time. As, as well as, you know, braiding your hair Um no, actually braiding the hair didn't actually take that long it was more so attaching the locks together that really took up most of the time but it was definitely worth it because i love 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 them go ahead and drop a green heart down below if you have made it this far thank you for your love and support This is the finished result, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your support. I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.